Yo, what's good, y'all? It's so and Sunday actually marks one month of me officially owning these Motorola EXH04 smart home phones. Today's Tuesday, so because it's been a month, it finally qualifies for a consumer review. So that's what I'm about to go and give y'all today. A consumer review after one month of me owning these Motorola EXH04 smart home phones with Alexa built in. And there's actually a lot of things I like about these, but there's also some glaring problems that I really dislike about these smart home phones. So we're going to talk about all that in this consumer review let's get it to it all right so yeah like i was saying i had these things for a little bit over a month now just over two days and yeah it's kind of been a wild ride with these smart home phones here so i'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all all about it it's gonna be kind of interesting but i want you to keep in mind of this when i do this consumer review so i have at&t uverse as my landline service provider so just keep note of that just in case you have any questions i have at&t uverse i have the caller id subscription and everything covered so don't even worry about that but you can go and pick these things up from amazon best buy the home depot even a few other places and i'll go and throw the links up in the description but if you want to go and buy these they actually have a few different options here so you can get a one pack a two pack a three pack or a four pack or even an additional handset accessory here but if you just want one it's going to run you 66 46 right now on amazon now i do want to just go and throw out there like there is a few different model numbers so you have the exh01 which is just one smart home phone and then it just goes up from there so the exh04 like i got comes with four house phones so that's why it's called like that now if you actually go to the four pack here on amazon it's actually saying that's currently unavailable so i don't know what's up with that i'm assuming that they'll maybe restock these things later but right now you can't get this and even the same thing with the three pack so i don't really know what's going on with that but if you want the two pack that's actually going to go and run you 108 bucks now inside of the box you do get a few different things so you do get all four house phones obviously you get the chargers to go with them and then you actually get the cords to go ahead and plug in the chargers and then you get the base so if you want to go and watch the unboxing on these again i'll throw the links in the description or the annotation above but let me go and show you around this thing first so at the top here you actually have a led indicator for whenever you're receiving calls so you can see that also at the top here you have a motorola logo which also doubles as your earpiece you also get a two inch full color lcd display here on the front and then for the buttons here at the top we have these two buttons here for whatever shows on the screen so you can select the options you have your left key here which also doubles as your contacts on the home page you have an up key and then you have a right key which also doubles as your intercom when you press and hold on to it as you can see here and then we also got our call button here or answer and then we can also press it again and go into speaker mode and then we got our down key with our in call button which we can also hold on to to turn off the phone itself so it takes a little bit but then it shows you this menu right here and then you just turn it off and then the rest here is just your numbers obviously which you can also press and hold on to the star key here to put it in silence mode and the whole thing's actually backlit with these bright white keys and of course we can't forget that we got the alexa button here so we can go ahead and turn on alexa and talk to it on the right side we don't got none on the back we have a motorola logo our speaker and then we also have in here where our batteries is so we have these nickel based batteries which we can actually replace pretty easily on the left side we don't have nothing at the bottom we have our charger and then at the top we don't have nothing and all right so that was pretty much it just looking around this phone so now we're going to get into the part where we actually get into the consumer review and we're actually going to go and get into the things that i like about this first and then the things that i dislike about these so let's go and talk about the things that i like about this first and that is going to be the call quality for number one so yeah the call quality is pretty dope on here like i was actually pretty impressed so for a phone that's really only made to be a phone it actually does pretty good in that so the clarity is pretty good and actually gets surprisingly loud through the earpiece and the speakers so let me go and do a sound sample for y'all real quick so i'm actually calling my number right now so this is what i'm gonna sound like with the speaker at max volume on my pixel 4a and i can actually hear some feedback coming back on my phone i don't know if it's because i'm too close or what but i can hear the phone but yeah with max volume my speaker how do i sound do i sound good do i sound trash like what's up and this one gonna sound like talking on the landline with the phone at max volume so I don't hear no feedback on my end on this phone, but let me know again. How do I sound? So I don't know. That's what I think. I mean, I think it sounds pretty good. Next up is a range from the base. So obviously this ain't gonna be no smartphone that connects to cell towers or anything. So you need some pretty good range when you got a landline here and it's pretty good on here. I got the base right here and the actual windows right here. Now I'm about to go ahead and show you outside where I'm gonna be at. And now I'm outside the window I was just telling you about. So let me show you the range real quick. So let's go and start this call real quick. And now let's walk a little bit. So 
the window's still over there. Let's go and walk back here, over here to this fence behind my garage a little bit. And we still got some signal out here. It's starting to drop a lot, but we still got some signal. Now it is dropping in between one bar and zero bars, but we're getting something. And yeah, you can hear it's really starting to break up now. But if I go and show y'all, the window's way over here and I'm way back here so that's pretty good next thing that i like about it is that it's actually a full color lcd display here now uh that's pretty much the only thing that i got to say about this that i like about it so i'll talk about that more in a minute but i do like how it's not one of these displays like you see here in this video all right so next up is the battery life that i like about this so it's been doing me pretty good i don't really have any exact estimates on how long it's gonna last but I mean, I don't really expect anybody to be on the phone for like 24 hours or like even 11 hours or anything. So this should be lasting you as long as you just keep it on the charger. You should be good because it is a 750 milliamp hour nickel based battery. So it is supposed to be charging all the time anyways, whenever you're not using it. Next up is the backlight keys on here. So you got these white, really bright lights on here. And I really feel that because like with some other home phones, maybe the lights will be green or whatever for whatever reason. So these going to do the job pretty good i'm definitely feeling that you ain't gonna miss this in the dark next up is the ability to know when somebody joins your call so the people in my house i'm not gonna lie they kind of suck because well people are just nosy in this house and they some people like to snoop on my calls i don't get why but that's just how it is and with these phones anyways you can actually know when they join the call. So on my last phones, they didn't do that and they actually didn't even tell you when you're in a conference call, but with these, they do. So if I go and put this on speaker here and for the record, it does say line in use for all the other phones, by the way, but if I go and join this call here, you're gonna hear this, as you can see. And I just found this out when my brother called the house, but apparently if somebody else using the landline picks up the phone, they listen to this they're gonna hear it too on the other end. But if you want to, you can also go to the settings here. You can go to line settings and I'm gonna go and put in my default pin, which is just zero, 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 zero. That's how it comes. You can go ahead and actually turn this off here. So I'll go ahead and turn on, not allow for intrusion call. And if I'm in a call here, I'll go ahead and turn that on and I can go ahead and pick it up on here. It's just gonna say this. So it's gonna say not available, base system busy. So nobody can join the call while you're on it. Next up is that you can always just buy more additional home phones to add to your system like I just showed you on Amazon. So if you buy a four pack here, you're not just stuck with a four pack or maybe you get two phones and you want more down the line, you could do that. Now I still don't know how many phones the base supports like I've been trying to find that out for a minute now and I still couldn't find out. But all I know is you can add additional phones. I guess if you add too many phones and they won't let you add anymore you can just return the one that you already bought so i guess there's that next up is obviously the highlight of this phone is alexa so you can use her for your normal features like asking the weather seeing what time a place closed or turn on the lights even but some more things i like about it is that you can actually go ahead and call other echo devices you can go ahead and drop in on other echo devices you can get alexa notifications and you can actually go ahead and call a business from here and they'll actually go ahead and call it from this phone so let me go and show you all that. I'll go ahead and pull this up real quick. Call Walmart. There's a Walmart Supercenter on Brumback Boulevard. Do you want to call that one? Sorry, I'm not sure. Wait, what? Let's try that again. That was weird. Call Walmart. There's a Walmart Supercenter on Brumback Boulevard. Do you want to call that one? Yes. Calling Walmart Supercenter. And then it just starts ringing like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now I was looking at the Amazon reviews and somebody said that the Alexa integration on here is basically like you taping the Echo Dot to the back of your home phone, which yeah, I guess I can see where he's coming from with that because like you can't use Alexa to intercom other phones, for example. But I mean, I guess I don't really need it to. This is easy enough to do. So I don't really care that much. It's, it's cool for me. Next up is the fact that these can get updates and these can always improve. So with a regular home phone, when they come out, and if you don't really like something about it, you're just stuck with it until they come out with a new one. So let me go and give y'all an example real quick. So basically when this first came out, this didn't have an answering machine and a lot of people complained about that, but later they did add in an update. 
So, I mean, like, you can't do that with a regular home phone. Now, again, like I said, they got AT&T U-verse, and they already got their own answering machine, so I don't really need that, but it's cool there, I guess. Next up is that the batteries are always easy to replace. Do you need to replace them often? No, because they recharge, but if they ever go bad on you, you can always just swap them out real quick. They're not like any type of really special batteries that you have to go ahead and dig on Amazon to find. There's just like some basic batteries. They're not double A or anything, but I mean, there's something. And I'm actually getting a call right now. Who is this? Oh, it's a blocked number. Oh yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. Next up is that you can actually go ahead and change your wallpapers on here. So yeah, I know it's a pretty basic feature, but think about it. These are home phones. This isn't really a lot you're gonna get with these. But you get empty here, you get wallpaper one, and then you get wallpaper two. So you can't add your own wallpapers of, you know, maybe for example, you got a kid or something. You can't add that as your background on here, but I mean, it's something you get on here, so it's pretty cool. Next thing that I like in the Hello Voice app, you can actually go ahead and see your call logs on here. So you can see your missed calls and everything while you're away. So I thought that was pretty nice. Finally, we get something out here. So when you first get home, you'll have to go and check on your home phone to see if you missed any calls or anything. You could just check in the app and see. But I'll go and talk about this more in a minute. And the last thing that I want to go and talk about that I like about on here is the fact that you can easily go ahead and block calls. So if I go and hit block here while this number is ringing, I'll go and click on that. And you can see here that all the phones just changed to added to call blocking. So for us, for example, we get a lot of robocalls and spam calls and stuff like that, which AT&T really needs to get on top of. But if we get multiple calls like that, we can easily just go ahead and block it. And well, it's pretty much that easy. It doesn't really take much work. And if you want to, you can always just go to the app and block the numbers from there or unblock them. All right, so that was all cute and fun and all, but now we got to go ahead and talk about the beef I got with these, the problems I got with these. And number one, and this is the most annoying thing about this, is that it doesn't even tell you the phone number when you're receiving a phone call. So let me show you this. So I'm actually calling my landline right now. Keep in mind that this number ain't in the contacts or none. It don't have any contacts at all. There's no phone number out right here. What is that? And that's the same thing for all of them. Ain't no phone number on any of them. They just show wireless caller or Wisconsin caller or whoever. Now, the interesting thing about this is that they actually say in the user manual that it actually shows you the caller ID and it shows you the phone number based on your subscription for whoever your landline provider is. So you mean to tell me that my printer ain't giving me this phone number right now? Like, what is that, man? Now, I emailed Motorola about this, and they still ain't got back to me. Like, I emailed them at least a week ago, and then, like, like I said, just still nothing from them. So now I just see my caller ID, but don't know who's actually calling. So I don't know if this happens with Spectrum and maybe these other companies out here. But at least for me, with AT&T U-verse, like, I just don't get it on here, but I never had a problem with that on any of my other phones. As you saw, my printer was literally just showing the phone number all right so update here because i just found this out but if you go over here to the calls and then you go over here to options and view then you can see the phone number for that call and then for the call waiting check this out so look at this right here you can see the phone number there what is that come on man you can't show me the phone number while i'm like actually like not in a call but you can show me while i'm in a call Come on, man, that's not okay. Next up is that the display has a really low refresh rate, as you can see here, and the outdoor brightness is just complete garbage. So I'm outside right now to go ahead and show y'all, and yeah, I pretty much can't even see the screen right now. Now I can actually see it now that I'm actually in my garage, but if I go back out here, I can't really see it, and there's no like brightness settings or anything. There's only contrast. Next up is the build quality is like kind of garbage. So you can actually see on this phone anyways, there's some scuff marks here in, Nothing even really happened, they just end up showing up there. And check this, right? So in the unboxing, I went ahead and grabbed one of these here and went ahead and cleaned the screen because it had like two specks of dust. And immediately, it already had like two scratches on the screen and just micro scratches. Like, like, what is that, man? I can't win here. So I'm actually surprised because it's in better condition than I thought these would be, but still, that's just... That's no, man. Come on now. That's no. Next up is that this whole thing is just kind of confusing. So like even me as a tech guy, I couldn't even figure out for 20 minutes straight on how to go ahead and do an intercom out here. So I already showed you in the beginning of the video. You just hold on to this, but I had to go ahead and dig through the user manual to go ahead and find that. If the user manual wasn't there, then I don't think I would have ever found it. Also, there's just some other things here. Like I was trying to set the wallpaper when I first got the phone and I couldn't figure out how to set the wallpaper. 
that's because you have to go ahead and do this to go ahead and scroll through them and that's it so like i was saying yeah the whole thing is just kind of confusing and just on top of that the whole button layout is just kind of weird here with the left and the right and the up and the down like i don't know it's just yeah i don't get it now if you do pass these to your folks then i feel like they should be able to figure it out after you tell them like how you go ahead and use this thing but still it's just confusing once you learn it then i mean i guess you can figure it out but still it's just kind of confusing next up is that when you first get these you need two apps to go ahead and set these things up so i covered that in my unboxing but you need to go ahead and download the hello voice app by motorola and then you also need to download the amazon alexa app which maybe you already have already i don't really know but that's not really the point you need two apps in order to use this properly and i don't like that next thing i don't like is that the hello voice app itself just kind of sucks so let me go into this app real quick and i'll go ahead and show y'all so this is also one thing but you need to go ahead and tap on connect to an existing system every single time you pull up the app so don't just immediately go to the screen here also there's just some other things here like if i go to the device list i tap on my system i tap on let's say basic for example and i want to rename it let's go ahead and rename it to something and it just crashes the app whenever i try to change the name i don't oh okay so it worked that time <laughs> i wasn't expecting that of course while i do a video it don't want to show off what i was talking about but yeah overall still the app kind of sucks next up is that this has a pretty cool feature but never works for me and that's auto hang up so if you go to the menu here you go over here to call settings and then you see this option here called auto hang up which you think it would do what it's supposed to and like you think about that and you like hey that's kind of cool because you know if somebody hangs up or you lose reception or whatever it automatically hangs up on your cell phone but on here it's supposed to do that i think but it just doesn't work for me so check this out i'm gonna go ahead and end this call here and then it just doesn't end it just stays like that so i don't know what's up with that obviously you saw it was on it just don't work for me though next up is that it's actually kind of slow to dial and call so i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i mean so check this out i'm gonna go ahead and dial real quick on here yeah you see how delayed it is when i'm typing on here and the same goes if you're actually in a call or whatever and it just kind of throws me off when i'm typing on here and it's just delayed while i'm actually trying to put in my phone number or just like maybe i'm calling my bank and i'm putting in my card number just whatever it's just delayed now like that next is that these designs are just obviously pretty old school so like i was saying in the unboxing you have phones like the galaxy z flip and the galaxy fold that i'm recording on right now but then you go to these which are smart but they don't look smart they just have this alexa button in the middle which then you know it's smart so i mean they could have did a little better than just this old school design here but i guess if it ain't broke then don't fix it and maybe it's just targeted towards older people who still keep a landline on them because i don't think people my age really keep landlines still but still like i'm just not really feeling this old school design here next your like regular cell phone here doesn't ring when somebody calls your house phone so it doesn't ring in that hello voice app like i hoped it would but it don't the only time you can see when somebody called you is when you go over here to the app and then look at all your calls here but besides that if you want to go ahead and miss a call then well you're gonna just have to go ahead and miss a call so because you can actually update these things and make it better like i was saying earlier which is one of the things i like about this they should go ahead and update these and then update that app so you can go ahead and get calls on here so you never miss a call because that would be really clutch next up is that the charger just really needs some improvements so i have this like nice stand this table next to my bed and I actually have my phone there with the actual charger and that table ain't really flat so when i go and put on the charger it just like it just doesn't really set on there right and sometimes it stops charging if it's not appropriately set on the charger like it just needs a little bit more work and lastly the base for the actual phones don't double as a charger so with my at&t home phones the actual base actually doubled as a charger so i liked that and i don't know maybe some people like that the whole base and the charger is separate because maybe they don't want their phone down here where they actually go ahead and plug in their landline but for me it didn't really work out because i don't got a lot of outlets down here and that's just another outlet being taken up that i had to go and unplug my echo dot for and it, it was just weird all right so that was the things that i don't like about this and the things i like now for the last section i'm gonna go and talk about something i'm more in the middle about so for the ui on this phone here it actually does look pretty modern for a phone like this anyways but then if you go over here to other areas like this it just looks ugly like look at the icons here 
they just not really going like I don't like that and like for example when you're dialing the phone number here it just looks clean and modern but then when you go over here to your home screen it just looks kind of ugly here with these icons and then going back here again it looks modern like you see what I mean here so maybe they can update the UI a little bit more and guys that was pretty much it for my Motorola EX H04 smart home phone pack consumer review what did y'all think about this do you think you want to go and get one of these are you thinking about picking these up let me know in the comments below i know when i was first looking for this phone there was literally no videos on this not even unboxing really or any good ones anyways and especially no reviews so i'm glad that i could finally get a review out on this thing and i put this thing through its paces hopefully motorola can improve on the next version because i do like this and this does have a lot of potential but then there's just annoying things like that whole like phone number thing when somebody calls and don't show up please fix that motorola because man that's irritating but if you want to go and buy one of these i'll leave the links in the description but that's going to be pretty much it for me y'all so thanks for watching if you like this video go and give this video a like and if you really like to go and subscribe but go and follow me on my social media eddie santec on instagram and twitter and facebook but instagram and twitter is the most active but my fedex guy just came by with my return box here for my iphone 11 pro max so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do a quick video on this before i return this so thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one and uh peace out if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I will be answering your questions as usual with all these other videos. So, yeah, peace out.